The Warzone camel glitch is back. Here's a quick tutorial on how to do it. The hardest part is understanding the timing. Doing this solo with two consoles is a lot easier than doing it with a friend. Regardless of how you're doing this glitch, there's going to be a lot of trial and error in order to understand the timing. However, once you have the timing down, you'll be able to hit this glitch every single time you try it. We'll have two players, player one and player two. Player two is going to be the person helping us out with the glitch. In Warzone, player one is going to equip the weapon that they want to put any camo on in custom class slot one. Player two is going to send us a whisper message, which will help us join them later on. Player one will go into a Warzone custom match solo and will go into their creative class. In custom class one, equip the weapon that has a camo that you want to duplicate to another weapon. Once equipped, go to Gunsmith. In the bottom right corner of your text chat, that message that player two sent, you're going to want to right click on their name and hit join session. Once you join their session, you're going to open up your custom classes once again. You'll notice your custom game classes are still here. Go to the weapon that has the camo that you want to duplicate and go to gunsmith. Hover over the weapon category that that weapon camo resides in and this is where the timing is going to take place. Player 2 is going to start searching for a plunder match or an LTM. This will not work in standard battle royale or resurgence. At the same time that player 2 selects matchmaking, player 1 is going to spam that camo category. If the timing is done correctly, once you join matchmaking, the camo selection will now be on your screen and you can select any camo to put on your gun. If you want to save this gun for future use, just go into create a class and save it as a custom blueprint. You can save a total of four custom blueprints per weapon, so that means you can throw on Damascus, Obsidian, Dark Aether, and DM Ultra all on your Vanguard weapons. You can do the exact same thing with Cold War and Modern Warfare weapons, and as a bonus, you'll be able to use those camos on Modern Warfare multiplayer, which is why you're seeing Dark Aether on my M4 in the gameplay. It's a really easy glitch once you get the timing down. It's not as easy as the pre-patch version two weeks ago where it took five seconds to equip any camo you wanted, but at least the glitch is back to some extent. This reminds me of doing GTA 5 money glitches. Want to know something crazy? This glitch is 100% harmless. No one gains any unfair advantage, unlike some of the wall breaches we've been seeing on Fortune's Keep. And you have to have the camos already unlocked if you're going to duplicate them onto other weapons. So Joe Schmo, who's level 5, can't do this glitch once or twice and throw on Dark Aether without doing any of the grind. You had to have put in the time and effort to unlock these camos just in order to have this glitch be somewhat worth it. I doubt anyone that's level 5 is going to be duplicating the Modern Warfare spray category onto their Cold War weapons. I just don't see that being worth it at all. So this glitch rewards those grinders. This is a moment I'm going to ask all Raven employees to plug their ears and pretend you did not hear this. I am so happy that when they patched this when Season 4 launched, they didn't get rid of our custom blueprints. That's one thing that I thought was going to happen, is not only were they going to patch the glitch, they're going to Thanos snap all of those custom blueprints out of existence. Thankfully that wasn't the case, and I hope the same thing happens when they patch this version of the glitch. At this point, they should just make it a feature. This isn't the first time this glitch has happened. Unlock tools have also been in circulation for multiple years at this point. So we know within Warzone, you can equip any camel you want onto any weapon. So what's the harm in letting us do it anyway? If that's too cool of an idea for you, make it a mastery challenge. If you have Atomic, DM Ultra, Dark Aether, and Damascus, as a reward for getting every mastery camel, give that to us as a reward. I can't think of one person that would hate that idea. Actually, I did think of one, the super casual player who cries that Damascus is too hard to unlock in the first place. Yeah, no one wants to quit their job and play Call of Duty full time just to unlock the atomic camo. I get that. It would be a really nice thing for us grinders, and it's a win-win scenario. Not only do we get a really cool feature, Activision would make a lot of money off of this. Think about it this way. How many Warzone free-to-play players are there? I'd say millions. And if you had a feature that was as enticing as this, let's underestimate and say 2% of those millions of players will buy all three Call of Duty titles just to be able to have this feature. I did the math, and if 2% of 3 million players buy all three games for a price of $180, that's 10.8 extra million dollars in Activision's pocket. That's not even including the amount of bundles that they might sell. 
I'm the most uneducated person when it comes to business, but even I can think of good ideas like that. They must be allergic to making good decisions. I can't think of one reasonable explanation at this point on why they can't do anything cool ever. I could care less about throwing Dark Aether on Vanguard weapons. I'm just happy to finally equip Atomic on my Vanguard weapons. I have the same glitch Jev does, where for no reason at all, you can't equip any camo on your Vanguard weapons. At least for me, my base game weapons work. None of my DLC weapons I can equip camos on, but at least with this super cool glitch, I can finally run the Atomic camo I unlocked months ago. It's pretty lame I have to glitch the game in order to use a feature that should be working. And the funny thing is, is they'll patch this glitch before they even come close to fixing that feature. There's hundreds of other bugs and glitches that do negatively affect players that you could bring up that won't get fixed before this camel glitch that hurts no one. I know I previously brought it up, but I'm so happy that you have to unlock the camos before glitching them using this. It would be very disheartening if anyone including Joe Schmo could run Damascus. It sucks that people can't equip any camo they want if they don't have it unlocked, but that's also their fault at the same time for not completing the camel grind. I have a couple friends, ever since this glitch came out, they regret not finishing their mastery camel grinds. There's two friends that I have that were one category away from not only completing Damascus, but DM Ultra as well. And they're definitely kicking themselves right now because they didn't finish those grinds. Not that you have to go back and finish those grinds just because of this glitch, but that's one thing where putting in the time and effort actually paid off in the long run. Not only because you got those camos in the first place, but you at least got this really cool glitch a couple years down the line as well. And hopefully they don't patch it. And if they do patch it, please, for the love of God, don't remove the custom weapon blueprints.